been a while since it felt like this, this. Been a while since it felt like this. in a Taiji Mayex class. The Mayex class is a three-week class where you explore something completely random with a professor that ideally also loves the passion. So we have Professor Davis. Professor Davis loves Taiji and he's a master himself. So we've been able to learn for the past three weeks like in-depth Taiji practices in our form. Um, I've been practicing Taiji since I think 1984. So quite a long time, almost, almost 40 years. And uh, I've always loved it since I started. It's very good for health. The main reasons we practice Taiji are health and longevity, relaxation. It's good for relaxation and stress relief. And as we go from movement to movement, there are, there are so many little details in the movements. So we practice all those little details until we begin to internalize them. And so that combined with the memory memory part is really good for the cognitive functioning as well. In RMAX, I'm teaching uh, MXP 236, Nature and Art, uh, Botanical Form and Function in Clay with Dr. Ashley Morris in Biology. And we are interested in combining both how plants and ceramics can come together, oftentimes thinking about the container as a way to fit together uh, what our world is and also how we can make it a little bit more beautiful too. I am in a biology professor. I will give a mini lesson on some botanical component and then whatever the topic is for that day, that becomes a challenge for the students and they have to build a piece around whatever that challenge is. It's been really awesome to see people both with skills and those who are totally new to ceramics get the chance to grow those skill sets in ways they maybe hadn't thought about before. Uh, so this is the River Conservation and Fly Fishing Mayex. With this Mayex, literally every single day we're out here. I think we've spent a total of two days strictly in the classroom. Every other day we're taking 30 minute trips to somewhere around Furman to uh, go fishing in a creek, which is why I think it's special to Furman because not many other schools are in a location as unique as this. We've been learning about how to tie fish, how to tie different knots, uh, where to look for fish, uh, and then out here we're actually putting that into practice. So this is an electronic arts and crafts class and I took it because it looked really cool. I'm actually a business major and I knew nothing about coding or electronics before I took it, but it was a great learning opportunity and I feel like it made me a better student. A lot of the work is done simply by the students uh, exploring, discovering, failing, uh, you know, overcoming obstacles, free exploration, find out what you can do, and uh, this looks nothing like any class you'll ever take anywhere else. It's a fun opportunity for students without programming or electronic experience to try to build something interactive. 